Good morning once again. So this morning, our topic is all about multiplication of radicals. Okay, let's have first the like index. Again, when we say index, nth root of x, and there is the index of our radical. Okay, so let's have square root of a times square root of b. So we simply multiply the a and the b, so that gives us square root of a, b. Okay, let's have the first example, square root of 3 times square root of 7. So, 3 times 7, that gives us square root of 21. Okay, second example, cube root of 2 times cube root of 4. So, 2 times 4, that gives us cube root of 8. Simplify this, it's equivalent to 2. Okay, third example, fifth root of 9 times 5th root of 27. 9 times 27, that is 5th root of 243. And this one can be simplified as equal to 3. Okay, now let's proceed this time to unlike index. Okay, first example, square root of 2 times cube root of 4. So, the index here are 2 and 3. So, we simply multiply this. So, 2 times 3, that gives us 6. So, inside, we are going to write this. So, we have there 2 cubed times 4 squared. Okay, that would give us 2 cubed is 8 and 4 squared is 16. Okay, multiply 8 times 16. That is 128. Simplify 6 root of 128. So, we have there 64 times 2 and 6 root of 64, that is equivalent to 2, leaving the 6 root of 2 in the radical. Okay, so for number 1, we have 2, 6 root of 2. Okay, second example, cube root of 3 times 4 root of 2. So, our index now will be 12 and inside we are going to have 3 raised to 4 times 2 raised to the power of 3. Now simplify. So 3 raised to 4, that is 81, times 2 cubed, that is 8. And 81 times 8, that is 648. So for number 2, we have 12 to root of 648. Okay, number 3, we have negative 2x square root of 3 times 3 cube root of 3. Okay, so again, we simply multiply this. So, negative 2x times 3, that gives us negative 6x. Then, multiply again the index. So, we are going to have there 6. And inside, we are going to have 3 cubed times 3 squared. So, ne negative 6x, 6 root, 3 cubed, that is 27, and 3 squared, that is 9. So, we multiply 27 times 9, that is 243. So, for number 4, num number 3, I mean, we are going to have negative 6x, 6 root of 243. Okay, let's proceed to number 4. Square root of 3x, quantity multiplied to 12x plus 4, close quantity. Okay, so this time, we are going to distribute the square root of 3x. So, distribute, we are going to have... The square root of 36x squared plus, distribute again to 4. So, we are going to have 4 square root of 3x. So, this would give us, simplify, square root of 36, that is 6. And square root of x squared, that is equivalent to x. We copy 4 square root of 3x. So, for number 4, we have 6x plus 4 square root of 3x. Okay, number 5, quantity of square root of 2 plus square root of 5, close quantity squared. So, actually, this is just the same, squaring the binomial, or we can use this FOIL method. Okay, so we are going to have there square root of 2 plus square root of 5 multiplied to square root of 2 plus square root of 5. Okay, so we distribute first the square root of 2. So, we are going to have there square root of 4. Then, distribute also on the outer term. So, we are going to have there square root of 10. Then, inner term, we are going to have so, square root of 5 times square root of 2, that gives us square root of 10. 
Then the last term we are going to have there, square root of 25. Okay, simplify. Square root of 4, this gives us 2. Square root of 10 plus square root of 10. So this is equivalent to 2 square root of 10. And square root of 25, that is equivalent to 5. Combining like terms, we are going to have 2 plus 5, that gives us 7. Then we copy 2 square root of 10. So for number 5, we are going to have 7 plus 2 square root of 10. Okay, now, this time, let's simplify the radicals. Okay, so for the first example, we are going to have 75x cubed. Okay, so we are going to factor the 75 and 1 should be a perfect square. So we are going to have 25 times 3. And x cubed can be factored out as x squared times x. And take note that the exponent here should be divisible on the index here. Okay, now let's proceed. So we are going to have there square root of 25 that gives us 5 and then square root of x squared so we are going to have here 2 divided by the index that gives us an exponent 1 and leave the 3 and the x inside your radical so for number 1 we are going to have 5x square root of 3x okay second so square root of 12 a cube b raised to 5 so factor the 12 we are going to have 4 times 3. Factor the a cube, we are going to have a squared times a. And the b raised to 5, we are going to have b raised to 4 times b. Now we simplify. So square root of 4, that is 2. Square root of a squared, so 2 divided by the index gives us an exponent 1. And then square root of b raised to 4, so 4 divided by the index, so that is an exponent 2. So we leave the 3, the a, and the b inside our radical. So for number 2, we are going to have 2ab squared, square root of 3ab. Okay, number 3 example. So 2x, 4th root of 112x raised to 10y cubed. So we copy first the 2x. Okay, now let's factor the 112. That gives us 16 times 7. And x raised to 10, we're going to have x raised to 8 times x squared. And we simply copy the y cubed. Okay, let's simplify 2x. 4th root of 16. This is equivalent to 2. And x raised to 8, simplify. So we're going to have there 8 divided by 4. We're going to have x squared. And we leave the 7, the x squared, and the y cubed inside our radical. So we simplify further. We distribute the 2x. So we are going to have there. So 2x times 2x squared, that gives us 4x cubed. Then we copy the 4, 7x squared, y cubed. So for number 3, we're going to have 4x cubed, 4th root of 7x squared, y cubed. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you've learned something. Thank you.